Hello and welcome to this Q3 update for Smithfield. Today we're going to cover two key points. Aside from what's happening on site, we'll be looking at the key gateway application, which is new building reg and requirements, which we'll talk through with Simon from CBP Architects. And secondly, I'll run through the phasing programme across all units at Smithfield. Due to the size of our Smithfield project, the development requires precise planning and structuring around the phasing programme. The buildings will be delivered across three key phases, lofts, works, and then house. House will then be delivered across two key phases at separate times. So I'm gonna talk you through the schedule of works and then the phasing programme for Smithfield, uh, all units. The schedule of works starts with the removal of any final tenants that are within our light industrial units currently on site and then we'll be heading into demolition in the November and December of this year. So we want the site cleared for early year and uh, in preparation for the groundworks. And then we'll be working through the site for completion in February 27. Moving on to works. So this second building of the first phase will be demolished alongside the first building with groundworks and the general build and substructure starting just shortly after. Now our build completion here is November 26. Then we'll be moving on to house. This is the final phase of Smithfield in two parts. This will be delivered in two phases. Phase one, we will be working through the site through March 25 through to August 27 with delivery of first phase unit September 27. The site will then be continued into phase two ongoing with final delivery of the site in line with HS2 we hope in March 28. Hi there, I'm Simon Birch. I'm a director of CBP Architects, uh, practicing in Nottingham. Uh, we're working on the uh, projects for Prosperity in Birmingham. That's the Smithfield and the Kent Street projects. Uh, and I just wanted to just uh, go through um, the situation that's happened with the building regulations recently and the changes that's uh, occurred through uh, the effects of the Grenfell inquiry uh, and how that's affected um, the process of um, putting in building regulations. So the main change is that um, the government brought in uh, the BSA, which is the Building Safety Act, uh, and that uh, quantifies buildings of high risk. Uh, and both um, both Smithfield and Kent Street come under this under this category. Buildings of high risk are buildings over 18 metres. To the highest floor, uh, buildings over seven storeys uh, and also that contain two or more uh, residential, residential dwellings. Um, the process is split into a gateway process which is gateway one, two and three. Gateway one uh, is, is undertaken at the planning stage uh, with an additional fire risk assessment uh, at that stage. Gateway 2, which is where we are with Kent Street and, um, and with Pressworks, is at the construction stage. Um, so I say that's where we are, that's getting all the information ready to present to the building safety regulator. That happens instead of going through the standard building regulation process. Um, and that goes through for approval before any works can start on site. Uh, and then Gateway 3 is uh, the final process of handover and um, running of the building going forward. Um, that basically is, is the, the new process that we're going through with, the, with these projects. Um, and we are at a stage now, certainly on Pressworks, where we're at a point of only a few weeks away from submitting the information to um, the building safety regulator um, there's no issues with, with going down this route for the projects we're working on. Uh, and as I say, we're quite close now to submitting all the information to the building safety regulator. And at that point, uh, yeah, we can uh, look to start on site. I hope you found that useful. Thank you for joining us. 
We look forward to seeing you in Q4 for our end of year update.